What's up, Porto? On today's show, we'll highlight the track team preparing for their season. And later, Tia Taula will have sports results and highlights. All this and more coming up on Travel Review. Hey Porto Sage, welcome back to Travel Review. I'm Princess Mueller. And I'm Nivea McNew. Today is Friday, March 16, 2024, and here's what you need to know at Porto. The speech and debate season came to an end. The following people qualified for nationals in Des Moines, Iowa in June. Kendra Moore and Haley Miller in public forum debate and Roxana Marsh winning first place district champs and humorous interp. Congratulations, Roxana. Travel Review reporter Tiha covered the track team preparing for their season. Track and field has started, practices beginning as of February 26th. Coach Need enjoys seeing new people join track, as well as watching the growth of current athletes. You know, I think that every year as a track coach, one of the things that you're super excited about is the freshman class. You know, having the opportunity to have those new kids come out, they're excited about getting involved with track, they're excited about having new experiences, and, and then following up with those kids that have been a part of our program for several years, watching them grow and meet their goals. The first track meet is the JV meet on the 20th, the first varsity meet on the 22nd. Sean plays me sees only improvement for the track and field team this season. I feel really good about this season. Um, I think we have a lot of new people coming out for track this year, and based off of our performances last year, I mean, there's not much we can do except go up from here, so. Isaac Woodward has the current school record for javelin at 52.9 meters. Laney Vafaitao hopes to qualify for state by improving our 100 meter. My main and personal goal is to get my 100 meter time down um, so I can qualify for state and make it past districts. To watch sports events live, visit Blue Frame Tech to watch events and games broadcasted by the school. This is Tiha Taula reporting for Tribal Review. Thanks, Tiha. I'm really excited for their season to start. Yeah, I love watching track. After the break, we will have a profile over Layla Friend. Stay tuned for more Tribal Review. What's up Friday night without the lights? What is a teacher without students? What's a community without support? What's a team without fans? What's a school without spirit? spirit? Hashtag Fort Proud. Welcome back to Travel Review. Reporter Malia Arnold caught up with Layla Friend to highlight her high school years. Layla Friend is a three-year All-District Choir member and the current president of Toucher Class. Layla Friend plans to continue her education at Mizzou next year. I'm going to be attending Mizzou and I will be double majoring in elementary education and theater with an emphasis in performance. I will also be a part of their honors college. Layla has been doing theater for 13 years and she's a vice president of Drama Club. Director Miss Kitty Hardin feels that she is a trustworthy peer both on and off the stage. Layla is such a hard worker. Layla is very dedicated. I know that when she takes on a role, she is going to be, have everything. She'll have her blocking memorized. Friend is involved in National Honor Society and is a four-year member of the dance team. Teammate and castmate Sophie Deck believes Layla to play an important part of dance team and theater. I think that Layla is a good leader because Layla gets to talk to other people and gets to know them and she understands what their weaknesses and what their strengths are. Be sure to come see Layla Friend in the Senior Directed One Ox on April 11th and 12th. I'm Malia Arnold reporting for Tribal Review. Thanks Malia. I'm really excited to see where she goes in life. Yeah, I love watching her and all her activities. Tiha now joins us for the Indian Sports Report. Hey Tiha, it looks like all conference was announced and we have a new segment. You're right, I will have all of that after the break.
Are you in need of some delicious coffee or hot piping tea to start your day? Come on up to The Attic, FOHS's own little coffee shop. Read by amazing staff and always visited by sweet patrons, it's a comfortable place to hang out and sip your favorite drinks, all made fresh. Located to the left corner right as you enter the library. At The Attic, they make a variety of drinks, both hot and cold, different types of coffee, teas, and even hot chocolate. The Attic is only open on Fridays, opening in the mornings and closing at 1.45pm. Come visit The Attic shop on Friday. We would love to have you. What's up, Fordo? I am Siatalo with the Indian Sports Report. The Greater Kansas City Suburban Red All-Conference teams were released this week. The Fordo Sage men's basketball team had three All-Conference players, with Isaac Woodward and Cruz Navarro named second team All-Conference, and Jackson Navarro being named an honorable mention. Travel Review reporter Hannah Johnston interviewed Sophia Bell and caught up on her gymnastic feature at Auburn. Good morning. My name is Hannah Johnston, reporting for Travel Review, and I'm here with Sophia Bell. So, how's your morning been? Pretty good. Yours? Tiring. <laughs> Very tiring. And then your senior year. How's it been? Um, it's gone pretty good so far. I'd say it's like a little bit stressful, but it's definitely fun, like coming to an end, kind of. It, it, you guys only have a couple months left. Are you yep. excited to graduate? Yes, very excited, <laughs> very excited. And then on that, you are going to Auburn University, which is a D1 school, especially for gymnastics. Yes. How, how are you feeling about that? Um, I'm super excited just because it's like, a really like prideful thing especially when I've worked for so long to get somewhere like this and then you go to the meets and you see the girls like being super hype and like all of the fans and everything it's just a really exciting experience getting the tin on vault this year or floor I got yeah both both, yeah. both uh, getting the tin on both of them this year how did that just make you feel afterwards amazing like it's been a goal like ever since like with little gymnasts, like, you look up and you see, like, the older girls or the girls, like, on TV in college who are getting these tens, and so it's always, like, a goal in everybody's mind. So this year, like, I really wanted to get a 10 on vault because I've got a 9.9 on vault, and so I was like, okay, like, this is the year I'm going to get it, and so then after I got my 10 on vault, the, the very next meet, um, I actually scratched beam, which is, like, I've had some back issues, and so mm -hmm. scratching is just like you decide to like touch out, like you don't, like you get a zero. And so after that, I was like, okay, like I need to, <laughs> I need to hit this floor routine. So after I hit, everybody kind of knew it was going to be a high score. And then when that score popped up, it was just an amazing feeling. Everybody was jumping up and down. My mom was crying. Like it was, it was really nice. It was just really emotional. Yes. I hear, I hear yes. like an emotional feeling. Oh yes. I want to talk a little bit about your awards here. Two-time state and regional A champion three-time state and regional bar champion, three-time regional vault champion, three-time national qualifier. In 2022, you placed fourth at nationals and on developmental national team member. And then, obviously, you're perfect 10. Yeah. Just all of those stacked together, does that really mean, like, how, how much does that really mean to you? Um, Wise. It's definitely a lot because when I was younger, I was not the best gymnast <laughs> at all. I was placing, like, low, and I was really, like, working on trying to like build myself up so once I finally caught like that break my first year level 10 it's kind of like such a reward see like getting those awards and stuff because you like work so hard for that for like 13 years I've been working to get to where I am so to see it like pay off and kind of see like where I really am it's really it's just rewarding mm -hmm. and you said since like you were little like it was harder is there anything like that you want the people at your gym or just people in general that are like younger to like really look up to or like know? Um, probably just to keep going, like just keep trying because like gymnastics is such a sport. That it's literally based on perfection. Like mm -hmm. most sports like soccer, or like whatever you go, like you're, you're moving up. Like a goal is a point. You're like you keep, you're starting from zero and going up. Mm -hmm. With gymnastics, you literally start from a 10 and they deduct every single time you do something wrong. So it's really... It's really a hard, like, perfectionist-type sport, and so you have to kind of, like, mentally look and be like, okay, just because I didn't get the score I wanted doesn't mean I didn't improve on something. So it's kind of like you have to keep, like, I would tell them, like, just keep going. Like, it takes a while in gymnastics to build yourself up and get to, like, somewhere that you would be proud of. Well, thank you so much for joining us, yeah. and it was awesome to talk about your gymnastics career so thank far. You. It was nice talking to you. That's it for the Indian Sports Report. I'm Tia Taula. Princess and Nevea will have more news after the break.
Tammy Sue's is a community-based upcycle mercantile shop on 309 South Hudson Street, Buckner, Missouri. This is the perfect community-based place to get all the decor and accessories you could ever want. Tammy Sue's has a wide variety of items for yourself, home, gifts, and others. Tammy Sue's includes soaps, earrings, outside decor, inside decor, flowers, and much more. All these unique items come at an affordable price just for you. Tammy Sue's also offers a variety of make and take classes. Come to Tammy Sue's Upcycle Mercantile, where new meets old. Come shop today. Welcome back to Trouble Review. With spring break right around the corner, reporter Nevaeh McNew and Sylvia Brunati went around to find out what your plans were for the break. Spring break starts next week and we wanted to find out what your plans are. Maybe I'll go out to eat something. Probably we'll play some video games, some board games with some friends. Um, probably visit a lot of family. I'm going to be going to Bora Bora for a few days, meet up with Mark Zuckerberg, and then go hit the Caribbeans. Um, I'm probably going to hang out with my friends from Green Valley and Blue Spring South because we all have the same spring break. My plans for spring break is uh, watching my kids babysitting while my wife has all the fun. I plan on doing a lot of baseball. I'm probably going to go to a skate park and probably hang out with a few of my friends. Uh, I'm going to Thailand for spring break. Uh, I have some soccer games over spring break and I have club basketball starting up so I don't really get a spring break. Uh, my birthday is the first day of spring break that Monday and then we're leaving that Tuesday to go to Charleston, South Carolina. Hang out with my boyfriend and my friends. Um, my plans are to send the baby to daycare and take a lot of naps. My plans are going to get hours for vet shadowing. My plans are going to Texas with a friend. I'm Sia Brunati. And I'm Nevaeh McNew. We're reporting for Trouble Review. Thanks, Nevaeh and Sylvia. I'm really excited for spring break. Yeah, it was fun getting to see what everybody was doing. Our Fort Osage wrestling coaches are recognized by the Missouri Wrestling Association as a 2023-2024 Girls Class 2 District 4 Coaching Staff of the Year. Congrats to the following coaches. Coach Dealey, Coach Fields, Coach LaPaya, Coach Reeser, Coach Ringwood, Coach Sanders, and Coach Wackerman. Choir performed at the 2024 State Large Ensemble Competition at Lee Summit West High School on March 13th. Mixed Choir, TOC, Concert Choir, and Setting the Tone all received gold on their pieces. Congrats to Christopher Brown and Ariah Morton for being named the Rotary Students of the Month. Teacher of the Year has been announced for every building in the district. This year, Fort Osage High School Teacher of 2024 is Chance Parsons. Congratulations to all the other teachers on the screen. As always, if you're looking for more news and information about Fort Osage High School, you can always find additional coverage at FOHSSignal.net. There you will find stories about the student and activities of the school, so check it out today. Well, that's it for today's show. I'm Princess Mueller. I'm Nevin New. And I'm T.O. Tuttle. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you after spring break. <laughs>